Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at a couple action figures made by Amigo. And these are vintage action figures from the Micronauts line. And it just so happens that these are two action figures that I had when I was a child. And somehow they survived into my modern day collection. Um, so I'm very happy to still have these. Uh, they were heavily played with when I was a child. So uh, they're a little beat up. But that's okay. I mean, you kind of have to expect that with a vintage action figure. It gives a little bit of a charm. So we're going to take a look at these two. The articulation on uh, both these is very similar. So I'm only going to go over articulation on one of them. So we'll go ahead and look at uh, Galactic Warrior here. Uh, the other one, this is Space Glider. This is Galactic Warrior. Uh, these are the names of the characters. Um, not too much background that I know on these. Uh, they had sort of write-ups, uh, I think, on the packaging. But it was kind of vague. Um, they got more expanded in, in the Marvel Comics kind of thing. The characters got more fleshed out and they were changed around a little bit. So, but let's take a look at the action figures themselves. Um, a lot of detail on these and you can see uh, there are die cast metal parts um, and plastic parts. Uh, the head is plastic, hands are plastic, this little chest piece is plastic, and then the rest is die cast metal, which is actually very cool. It gives the figure a lot of weight. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of paint wear on this. Um, as I mentioned, this this figure got a lot of got a wear and tear when it was a kid. When I was a kid, um, so a couple of interesting things about this. We'll go over articulation real fast, and then we'll talk about some of the features. Um, so on the head, you get a spin, and then you get a little side to side. It's on a ball joint, so you can get like front and back as well. Uh, at the shoulder, you get 360 degree movement. You also can extend out. Uh, this one's quite loose at the shoulder joint um, just because it's had a lot of wear and tear. Um, at the elbow, single joint. At the wrist, there's a ball joint. So you get this kind of movement like this. You also get this kind of movement and a twist. So quite a bit of articulation at the wrist. At the waist, you get side to side movement, a little front and back, and twist. At the hip, you can kick forward, you can kick back a little bit, you can kick out a little bit, and a single joint at the knee, and no articulation at the ankle. As I mentioned, the articulation on this one is very similar to this, so we're only going to just go over it on one of them. Other features on Galactic Warrior, this chest piece is removable, and he comes with this accessory, which is a missile launcher. Mine no longer works. It came with at least two missiles, which you see here. I still have the missiles. Uh, but last time I handled this thing, the, the plastic has become so brittle on the missile launcher that, you know, I don't really want to handle it any more than I need to. Um, but uh, this part right here actually plugs into the chest, and then there's two handles on either side, so you can actually hold on to it and then launch missiles. I'm not going to try to attach it that way, you know, in this video, because again, uh, this thing is so fragile that I'm afraid I'm going to break it again. And then on the back of the figure... There's this uh, porthole right here, which you can actually take the missile launcher and then plug into the back of the figure so he can stow it away when he's not using it as a missile launcher. So that's that's kind of a cool feature of, of this accessory. So, um, you know, Galactic Warrior, very cool character. Uh, this was made in a couple different colors. I only have the green version in my collection. And then on Space Glider, uh, as you can see, he has a couple different accessories. He has uh, a removable helmet, you know, which uh, was kind of advantageous because I used to keep this on the figure quite a bit. And it meant that the there was less wear and tear on his head. So uh, the chrome uh, finish on this is actually fairly intact, mainly because it was protected by that helmet. So again, uh, die cast metal body with plastic hands. And then, of course, he has this uh, space glider black backpack where you can fold down the wings and then to deploy them, you just hit this little button and they pop up. So that's a really kind of cool feature. And that backpack is removable and he has a similar port on the back as a Galactic Warrior. So uh, this little port is actually advantageous for uh, if you want to put him in various Micronaut vehicles. There's actually a little attachment point, so which allows you to fix the figure to the vehicle and uh, let him, you know, sit in there securely. So this one, again, both these figures, uh, the O-rings on them are deteriorating rapidly and they, you know, 
they're sort of falling apart. Uh, I may do some upgrades on them at some point and, you know, replace the O-rings, you know, kind of liven them up a little bit. But they have a lot of charm in being, you know, ones that I played with a lot when I was a kid. And so the fact that they're, they look a little beat up, you know, I don't mind that. It's sort of like, you know, gives it a little bit of nostalgia value. So uh, let me know in the comments if you had either of these figures um, and what you think of them. That's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support is appreciated. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to the channel because I will be reviewing other vintage Mego figures in the future. Until then, I hope you have a great day and thanks for watching.